This video is to show how we use Romexis when we're evaluating a single tooth problem, uh, so or how to isolate a tooth. Now in this tooth, uh, in, or this case, when we scroll through the axial view, you can see there are multiple problems. Uh, just, well, just looking at the apex, you can see tooth number 11, uh, we've got a break in the cortical plate. Uh, number seven is very similar. But in this case, uh, you can see um, over here, number 12, something similar, it's broken off. But for the sake of this, this example, what I'm going to do is show you, like, let's just say tooth number eight, we think there's a problem, we want to evaluate that one tooth. I'm going to reset my view here. So now I'm going to grab in the sagittal view, just slide the arch over holding the left mouse button. I'm going to hold the right mouse button and rotate that and get us almost centered on the tooth. In the coronal view, I'm going to left click, slide, slide the view over. In the axial view, I'm going to right hold the right mouse button and rotate. So in the axial view, I want the coronal and sagittal view to look like a target. So in this view, the sagittal is going straight labial to the palatal side of the tooth, and the, uh, the coronal is going straight mesial distal. And then on the coronal view here on the upper left, I'm just going to rotate slightly because I like that the lines to be in the canal of the, of the tooth. When you do that, it's going to set us up for success. So now I'm going to go over to the right. I'm going to turn off the annotation. You can see exactly what's going on with the tooth. I'm going to turn that back on. So if you're a team member and you're setting us up to evaluate a single tooth, this is exactly the way I'd want you to do it. Um, if it's a molar, these lines will be down the furcation and I can make slight adjustments to evaluate the canals. If you see something obvious on the mesial canal, you can line up on the mesial root, mesial canal just like this. So this is just the easiest way to, to approach that. So it's uh, in respect to time if you're a team member and you set it up just like this when i come in the room it'll make things this combined with whatever two-dimensional images that you have and photographs will allow for a more efficient diagnosis which will you know will allow us to decide what we're going to do for our patients um, in a in a uh, in an efficient way